Released in 2018, Epic 7 is a game that boasts over 300 unique heroes, various game modes, and a large healthy community. But how is the experience for a new player in 2023? Can they get by without spending money? What can Smile get improved on? And how much time does someone actually have to devote to this game to feel like they achieved a sense of accomplishment? Join me, Wild Neptune, on this journey as I take a brand new, free-to-play account from Zero to Gacha Hero. In this series, get ready, because it's Epic 7 time. Okay, as you see here, we are on the 8th day. I believe there will be some footage from the 7th day. There's a little bit of a bonus, like the pulse and everything, a little bit later on. But this is where we are right now on the account. So today, talk about some things like getting into Wyvern, doing some of our connections for some heroes, and generally where this account is after this time period. Uh, keep in mind, we have another buff event today. Of course, if you follow this in the future, you might or might not have it, probably not. But like I said before, these events come fairly often. So over the course of a period of time, everything will even out. We have three heroes that are level 60 and six starred. So Spectre, Amomo, and Free Spirit, not Free Spirit, uh, and Sigrid here. We also have the Moonlight Blessing here, and we just have to awaken one more here with the five stars, and we can fully unlock Spectre. And we also have a pretty good amount of things like Stigma um, saved up here, so we can get some more six stars potentially. However, at this point too, you might want to save some of it because you will want to skill up some of your three star heroes like your a momo and that does cost stigma to do instead of molas which is a much more i would say reasonable cost as molas are time gated resources that you don't want to just waste uh, even though you might seem like you get a lot as a new player because you do um eventually they will dry out so be careful with them but in general here i want to get uh this s3 all the way to plus five and then after that maybe i can focus on the s2 um also around this time too probably want to go to start your wyvern team at least get the basis for it going so we have a momo that we got from the connections or we maybe pulled her we have our cigarette that he got from the hunt challenge event you will also have Furious from either a pole or from also the connections and then you'll have a last unit here So normally this unit should be Mui who is a three-star water thief or ice thief I suppose and He is the easiest to gear and best in slot overall for the sports slot for a free-to-play early entry team unfortunately despite pulling a bit we did not get him. So let's look at some alternatives that you might have instead of the Mui. So just going over some of the uh, replacements, I would say, for Mui, if you happen to have them. Now, some of these might actually be better than Mui in some cases. It's just that Mui's a three star and requires very little investment. Um, not the same for maybe some five stars or four stars, but here are some of the other ones we can talk about. So one of them is Chloe, and Chloe mainly because she has a debuff called Magic Nail, which is a debuff that cannot be resisted, which is very nice. Uh, she's more used actually for one-shot comps. Uh, I believe she's involved in a 100% uh, Banshee one-shot of all things, but if you have her, you might give her a try. Again, a five-star, so a little more investment overall. Also keep in mind too that the other heroes they have to be able to do damage also. Uh, Rand might also be somebody if you have you might consider. I've really tried him out or heard other people try him out but he does have the defense break and he does have attack buff. Uh, he can cycle quickly and because of the way that Wyvern works you don't have to worry about him getting hit or anything like that so it might be something you might want to consider. Um, we're going to skip over some of the other ones that I would say are more obvious. Like say SSB is a decent option. The problem with SSB is that she's a limited unit. 
So unless you started the game when she was available, you might not have her. Uh, Luluka is an interesting choice. Uh, she has a defense break on her S1 and S3. She does require a little more investment and a little more help to get online than Mui. Uh, she, she's actually more of a, of a replacement for Furious versus Mui, but she can also be a decent pickup too. Uh, Clarissa is a 4 star, she has some bleeds and defense break too, and she can be a decent option if we don't have, um, again, the Mui. Uh, Karin, she has a defense break on her S2, and she can do quite a bit of damage also. She is involved in a one-shot comp also later on, so somebody might want to consider sliding into the team. Uh, now for some of the three stars that have proven themselves in Wyvern, and one of them is going to be this guy, the boss, Terranor Guard. So Terranor Guard, um, he doesn't actually have um, any debuffs besides his defense break here, but he has a very high dual attack chance. And because of this, he just dual attacks, um, he gets CR pushed by his own attacks and everything like that. Very powerful uh, kit overall. Also involved in one of the, I would say, Abyss um, combos. Him with like Kitty Clarissa and stuff like that have been the savior of Free to Play Abyss. Something we'll talk about a little bit later in the series when we talk about some of the higher Abyss floors as they get more difficult. But if you don't want a generic like guy, you can also maybe pick up Alexa. So. Before Mui, Alexa was considered to be the best 3-star, I believe, for Wyvern that there was until you got to the one-shot team. Why? Because she's a lot of damage, she's easy to build, and she has a poison, two poisons, on the S2. And part of Wyvern 13's mechanic is that you need two debuffs on the Wyvern, in order for the Wyvern to hit your frontline units. And these poisons last for two turns. Not only that, poison does HP percentage damage, so they do a lot of damage to the Wyvern itself. Also, her S1 is very strong, as it has two attacks, and it gets more damage from something like Daydream Joker, which is a powerful effect. Uh, there is a, a theory that having the S3 um, not the cooldown, the more S1s is better. That That's arguable uh, whether or not what is the case on that overall. I'm pretty sure if you actually have like on average three debuffs I think it is, on maybe it's four, but the more debuffs you have the more this does and at a certain point you do outscale the S1, so do keep that in mind. Uh, she also has a a specialty change, if I can find it here, find it here. Uh, here it is. So this one, she gets a swimsuit, so uh, a lot more appealing than her base design. However, this specialty change is locked behind the Book of Memories, which is a paid uh, side story. I say paid, it goes sky stones to get into it. Um, it, is a, it is a good side story, by the way. Um, very fun to do. So if you're interested in doing some more story content, that is something you might want to consider. But you do have to do that before you can unlock Summer Disciples Alexa. And to keep in mind too, yes, it, it will increase your damage and make your runs faster and stuff like that. But Alexa's a hero that was good in Wyvern before the specialty change. And some people just left her at level 50. So those I would say are the main options for replacements for Mui. And this account will probably be going with Alexa, as I've done this on a previous account. And I I've also used Terran or Guard too on a previous account also. But we're going to stick with Alexa here. Speaking of our connections here, like I said, Furious is somebody we can pick up. I haven't picked it up yet because I want to show you what you have to do. And most of these are pretty self-explanatory. But this one, 300 gnolls. I just want to show you where to do this one. So go to Adventure. Go to episode 2, as that's where you're going to be farming everything here in Sidonia. It is 3, and then the stage you want to farm at is right here. 3S4. 
just do this a bunch of times, see all the nulls here, and get it in no time. Another thing you want to look out for too is starting your specialty changes. Um, you should have already done or be starting on, or at least, yeah, at least starting on your Momo specialty change. But another one you might want to start doing is your uh, Carmen Rose. And why your Carmen Rose? Well, because she has some kind of annoying ones. One of them is win 50 arena battles. And this is one that if you wait too long for, it can actually get difficult to do. So you want to start this early on so that when you have arena battles that are, well, quick and easy, get this done a lot faster. Uh, this one too here, uh, literally 250 monsters from the Sacred Kingdom. So when you hit go here, you just go to this uh, episode one, not unrecorded history. However, you can indeed still go to unrecorded history to clear it. And the stage to do it at is, let's go to side story, let's go to unrecorded history. Uh, click on it, a lot of clicking unfortunately go through here. And it is, I believe, this stage, stage 19 is the one that um, I've been doing because it has the most of these enemies. And these are the ones that you want to kill to uh, progress her specialty change. Uh, once we get done with episode two, of course, we will want to do the Ross SC. Uh, keep in mind too, though, the SCs are still locked behind things like getting all the runes for them. So whether or not you're prioritizing doing these um, because you want the runes or not, it's up to you. However, I would at least get some of them done just so they're ready when let's say a buff event comes up, like one this weekend right now. Um, also last weekend, a lot of buff events going on these days. We have also done some of our labyrinth. We have worked our way into Nixie Sanctum. Now, at this point, we are a little bit weak to really push far into Nixie, as it does get mildly more difficult the farther they get into it. But if you want to try to push as far as you can, um, as fast as you can, because this gear behind here on stage five is actually pretty good for PVE. Uh, my main account still uses a couple of these pieces um, just for like builder gear for some content on heroes that I just need. Uh, so very nice to have overall. Also, you want to do this because getting ancient charms, uh, coins and stuff like that for your accessories is going to be a roadblock in upgrading them. Um, we actually have the ability to get this free 4 star artifact too. Let's see what it is. It is- Oh! You know what? That is very good! Um, another book we will take that 100 percent okay i have this too the hero is episode one only i think the artifact is from anything let's see what we get we get a charlotte and we get a justice for all um they actually go pretty well like with each other like they have actually had some sort of synergy but this does mean we will open up the uh, Tamarin side story, and we will be pulling on Tamarin. All right, the first 10 pulls will be single pulls. So let's get started here. One tap, here we go. Uh, well, not quite, o almost. Okay, another Momo dupe. Nope. Two Goblin Lamps, okay. Oh? Okay, it's gonna upgrade into some. Oh no, oh no, it's just new. Because we have like no, um. No heroes that stick out. Asian Sheep? Mandorandum? Timeless Anchor. They're all three stars! All ten of them. What, what, what a scam. Listen. Okay, they could A4 star. Okay. The little Momo. Oh, no, it's not Momo. It's Aether. Okay, let's, keep, let's go again. 
Oh? Sir? We got her. Okay. That was very fast. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, that was so fast. We, 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 we are going to summon Lilius now. Okay, let's go. She's limited, so... Again, first ten will be singles. Clary. Christy? Okay, not bad. Ascending Axe. Talez. Okay, a, a four-star... Furious. Okay, that's that's fine. That's that's pretty good. I mean, we already have him of connections. Well, I, I can get him. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't picked him up yet. Curious. Curious. E not. Another Clary. All right. Here we go. Turn is not bad. Soul Achates. Boom. Dust Devil. Oh. Book? Okay, that's good. What the? No, Dust Devil? Okay. Oh, okay, Azalea. Oh my god, we're getting scammed here. I'm Hazel Stressa. Oh Hazel, okay. Aureus. Oh, that's good. Having an Aureus there. Oh, we got her. Finally, to get ready for gearing, we want to look at some conquest points we can spend on some gear. If you're in a preseason for normal arena, I would wait until the regular season starts because everything here that is not always already 70% off, because that is the maximum, will go down in price. So right here, you see the most recent set, which is this hit set here, which is very, very good hit set, by the way. Um, a lot better than the other old hit set as the newer arena gear has been updated to roll better and had better subs overall. Big, a big improvement there. And it's actually a pretty fair debate on whether or not I want to dish out the 1800 to get some better hit set here or if I want to save um, quite a bit and get this more jank one if i can find where it is for only uh 540 so a, a little bit i'll have and i'll decide by the end of this video but one thing that we will definitely buy right now is this ring as this ring will help us reach our effectiveness benchmarks for the wyvern fight now unfortunately here we don't really have a lot of charms or any charms right now to upgrade it uh, because we had to upgrade other things like this ring on a Momo and this ring for Cigarette and this other ring for Beast Fairy area for uh, farming purposes, which will might change over to another unit in the future. I have decided we will buy a the helmet from this one. So the 1800 helmet, and it has attack, speed, quick chance, and effectiveness, which is pretty good. But we will also buy the boots from the cheap one. And why is this? Well, uh, because 
it does a crit chance with damage, attack main, effectiveness 2, it has the R, but the attack set boost on my cigarette rolled a lot into health. So this will also help me not only get my effectiveness numbers, but maybe I'll also actually get some damage rolls here. So check this out right here and boom. And let's see how these puppies roll. So we're going right here. Let's start with the helmet. Um, oh, I say to sell some of this stuff here. So let's do that right here. And there we go. And here we go. Starting the roll. Oh, that was the boots. We want, we want to start with the helmet. No, let's start with the boots. Right, the boots are the um, arguably the worst piece. So we won't be able to go all the way up. But let's see what the first roll is. Okay, so I'm affecting this. It's a low roll, right? Like, these are not going to be amazing. We, we're just looking for... Um, something that is usable overall. So a lot of effectiveness right off the bat, and let's not only get the plus 12, but you know, at least no ER. So remember, you want to get to 65% effectiveness at least. I've already probably hit the marker there, but let, now let's get over on this helmet here. So already very effective so far. A, a speed, low speed roll, but we'll deal with that more effectiveness so definitely gonna have enough to cover i believe oh another speed roll okay that one's a little bit better and we can't quite get the plus 15 yet but those were overall i would say pretty decent for an arena piece of gear remember you're not looking for anything spectacular with these pieces you're just looking for something that is going to let you do your wyvern run more consistently and you see here when i change my gear uh the attack goes down a little bit However, remember, these boots are still plus 11, so we got a lot more attack um, when we get to plus 15. Our crit damage did go down too. Our speed is a little bit higher. The crit chance is a little bit lower. That doesn't really matter uh, if you're using Furious. But more importantly, the effectiveness is up to 70% plus. You only need 65%, so anything over that is kind of overkill. But just getting to 65 plus is going to let you actually land debuffs more consistently. In the fight, um, it would have been nice to have not as many effectiveness rolls. That is kind of a downside. Um, but however, in the future, maybe we can also move around other pieces of gear to get closer to that magic number. Other things I want to talk about also are getting our skill ups and catalysts. You will have this. Which one is it? It's this one. A couple of these where you pick catalysts to upgrade your skills on your units. Um, just be careful, make sure you count how many of these you actually need before you take the 15 ones. Because they are a batch of 15. You also get more importantly though, this Potion of Ascension. Uh, this is from, I believe, the Molagora event. So, it allows you to 6 star a unit instantly. Uh, I recommend doing it on either a Momo, if you let there at 3 stars or using it on either a Mui or an Alexa. Um, some people will argue to not do it on those two because you can't keep them at level 50, but let, let's be honest here. Um, you're gonna want your Wyvern runs to be quick, um, especially if you are um, not, not have a lot of time. Even with background battling, if there's a HUD event going on, you might want to actually, you know, try to do things faster than usual and having level 60s is a pretty big boost um so i probably will use it on alexa uh later on but another thing too is just in case you did not get mui you do have one a few more chances to get him and the way you do that is by doing your element summons so Normally, you don't get element summons until level 50 when you get world boss, but you do get them from your hunt challenge here and right here. So just do Wyvern 9 um, and you will get 10 of these and 15 of these. So these count for um, both of them and you get 25 element summons. Well, 25 bookmarks for 5 element summons and you will have a chance to get a Mui. It's a pretty low chance. But I would do that before you decide to invest in another unit for uh, the fight. Other than that, that is all that we have. So let's see what the time 
for the session was between, well, last time and this time. Remember that things like background battling do not count. And yes, we did do a lot of background battling um, overall. And it is going to be right there. So just a little bit over six hours of active playtime. Remember, yeah, I mean, this is not an exact thing. I will also, as always, have the total time um, on the screen uh, for you right here. And there we go. So, hopefully, your journey has been, well, pretty good. I believe we are past the 24-hour mark at this point. Uh, and I think that this account is shaping out pretty nicely. Hopefully, by the next video, we'll have things like episode 2 finish, talk about more Ross SC, um, Nixie Sanctum. Also, we'll have our wiving team done, uh, hopefully also, as there is going to be a uh, Spirit Altar event this weekend, so I do plan on farming some of those rooms. Anyway, I'm well, Neptune. It's been a good one. Nep out.